Imoset's role in the, the Volvo Ocean Race is a completely natural fit. We have been supplying state-of-the-art, globally deployable solutions for the maritime community for the last 25 years and have a gold standard reliability record for uh, state-of-the-art marine applications. Uh, to put this uh, equipment on board Volvo is actually a privilege because it actually shows that uh, our communication systems can operate in the most extreme conditions and uh, for us this marine platform is the most extreme as it comes. There's no other marine platform either for man or machine that will push our equipment or services to the limit. For the first time we've got dedicated media crew members on board uh, putting uh, high definition uh, media imagery together to actually broadcast over the Fleet Broadband 500 system that's uh, fitted uh, to all of the Volvo Ocean Race vessels to ensure that the imagery gets back to the audiences ashore and actually make sure that they see what goes on board these vessels at the extreme when they're over the horizon. But taking a quick look here at the various antenna arrays, we can see that uh, we have a very small cone-shaped uh, antenna that's the uh, Inmosat C system, primarily used for the distress and safety of the crew on board. In the event of an emergency, the uh, crew can summon uh, distress uh, assistance through maritime rescue coordination centres by pressing a, a distress button on board the unit to ensure the vessel's safety and, of course, that of the crew. Moving up onto the top uh, arch here, we've got another Inmosat C. That's actually used for the uh, race tracking and uh, telemetry. Um, we uh, report, or the vessels report, every 15 minutes to uh, Volvo Race headquarters uh, to ensure that no matter where they are in the world, the uh, uh, race directors can ensure, um, you know, and can keep track of them. Moving forward uh, to the uh, spiral antennas and uh, above and below, these are various uh, shipboard radio antennas and. Uh, are not uh, uh, connected to any satellite uh, connectivity. The backup system on board here with regards to the day-to-day -day communications is the Imosat Fleet 33 system. This is the smaller antenna you see uh, on top here and uh, has been the backbone of uh, our communication systems in the fleet range for uh, many years since 2002. This has now been superseded by the Fleet Broadband 500, although Fleet 33 continues to be used all over the world as a main method of communications. Moving to the right a little bit more, we can see the VHF antennas. This is for ship to ship or uh, ship to shore local uh, transmission. And the uh, fins that look like they've just come off an aircraft are for uh, microwave reception. I suppose the, the backbone of this vessel though is the Fleet Broadband 500 system, in this case from, uh, made by Trana Trana in Denmark and uh, terrestrial links uh, landed by Stratos Global. This is where the media desk we'll see in a minute below decks is connected to and ensures that the vessels have broadband connectivity globally to ensure that the high definition imagery that they uh, develop on board is sent seamlessly from ship to shore to the race headquarters. For the first time these vessels have a global broadband capability through fleet broadband and of course simultaneous voice and data communications. No matter what they're doing at the media desk they can actually be contacted by the shore and vice versa in order to carry on a voice conversation independent of their main video streaming and editing requirements. As such this is a completely new quantum leap in terms of capability from the last race where they were only to do they were only able to do either voice or data communications at what we thought was broadband at the time at 64 kilobits per second but are now bursting up to half a megabit so really a globally deployable and very high power broadband solution bespokely tailored for the world's marine community but exploited to the full on board these Volvo Open 70s okay so here we are below decks in the Volvo Open 70 and we're, we're sitting in where the, uh, the media crew member on board will actually do the transmission and editing of uh, video imagery. To my left here, up on the, uh, the, uh, the deck head here, we can see a small blue box. That is the Imosat C transceiver that was connected to the very small white cone-shaped antennas uh, on the uh, 
on the arches. That uh, fundamentally is used for the distress capability of the vessel in the event of a distress emergency. The distress uh, can be activated from here uh, to alert emergency services, coast guards through um, what we call maritime rescue coordination centres of which there are many all over the world. Moving to the right a bit we can see uh, a handset currently with uh, two green lights on. That's the uh, redundant uh, um, or the backup system to the Fleet Broadband 500 on board, the Fleet 33, the smaller antenna, and that be used for backup communications uh, should the primary system have, for whatever reason, any uh, issues regarding its communication link. And then we move to the uh, large box in the middle, um, the Media Desk HD by uh, Livewire Digital. That fundamentally is the control system for all the cameras on board. There are many cameras on board and uh, you uh, will you'll see a, a diagram uh, of those. Uh, needless to say, the cameras are strategically placed around the vessel for the media crew member to capture all the events that happen on a day-to-day -day basis. From there, we have a smaller handset on the right-hand side. That is the uh, handset that controls the Fleet Broadbone 500 system allowing uh, SMS and simultaneous data, uh, data and voice transmission as you would a normal phone. In this case, when you're using uh, Inmarsat services over satellite, even satellite providers have country codes and the country code for Inmarsat is plus, plus 870. It's just like your phone, plus 44 for the UK. Plus 870 is the generic code for the satellite system Inmarsat. The Fleet Broadband 500 system, as I said, was the backbone of the, the media desk connectivity. And uh, just looking down, we can see a carbon composite um, desk in which, and I won't take the top off now, we have a whole array of uh, high definition communications and recording, and most importantly, editing equipment. This basically allows the media crew member to work in, as you can see, what are extremely cramped conditions, uh, doing some of the most punishing g-force accelerations you're ever likely to experience under uh, on the ocean and uh, get to work editing cutting material to ensure that the uh, race uh, organizers ashore have exactly what they need in the way of imagery for their world's global audiences.